What happened? Of course. Thought I had some clear silicone. But why would I have some clear silicone? Oh. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belzo. I'm your host, Belzo. Today on the Belzo Show, I got some new LEDs finally in for the bottom of the scoot scooty, which I want to put in. It goes in around here and makes it. I got real thin. And you know what? I could use a glue gun. That's right. We can get this done. I don't need clear silicone. I can use glue guns. So, anyways, these strips are really super thin, like no bigger than my finger. And what they're designed to do is go into this little groove here, like so, right? This is what lights up the platform on the scooter. So I just want to see what end we need. I'm thinking that this is this end. So negative and positive. There it is, Jim. Perfect. This is the end we want. We're going to go with blue on this steel. And Bob's your friggin' uncle. So I'm going to run in and I'm going to grab myself some... Uh, Hot glue guns. So I stole the daughter's hot glue gun. Don't tell her, okay? If you don't tell her, I won't tell her. She will never know. And I got some clear sticks. So we'll plug this in now and get her warmed up real good. There we go. So I think she'd heat up in no time. Oh, the trigger's not even working. Maybe it is. Oh, that's a good trigger. Anyway, this must be from the dollar store. So the first thing we want to do on this deal is we want to power strippers here. Oh, I gotta take these back to work too. I didn't forget, these are what I changed the tires with. So they gotta go back to work. So we're gonna have to do that to that and this. So we need some, we need one of these, and we're gonna need one of those. That's probably too small. Pulls, we're probably gonna need two of these. There we go. So we'll slip them on here and here. Just so you know, I put up more Christmas lights too. It's insane. I got a bunch more, I got 10 more boxes coming. So we're gonna win this competition in Wyoming this year. You wait, I hope. Don't wanna get my hopes up, you never know though. We might not win, I'm just saying. I'm hoping I do, why wouldn't I? Work even helped me out a little bit with it, so that's awesome. So if you need anything, make sure you go to Gold Glass and Accessories. They'll fix you right up. Captain. So we're gonna solder this up like professionals that we are. I got way more LEDs than what I need for this job. I should dull them up, then it's real bright. No, but they don't take more hydro. They'll take more battery, I mean. <laughs> hydro, I'm an idiot. This little cordless friggin' solder gun for real small wire, it works friggin' awesome. Like, look how fast that worked. Oh, that's good for the friggin' plastic. Look at that, done. Not too bad. That should pop right off there when it dries. We'll slide this over. How you doing? And we'll slide this over. How you doing again? There we go. Heat. Who's the heat gun? I don't know where my torch is. I can't find it. Heat gun brought you by Snap-on. Why wouldn't it be? Don't know why I say that. They don't give me a damn thing. Ooh, that old light don't like the heat gun, let me tell you. I tried using my iPhone there the other day, as you know, for video. I don't like the iPhone. I, I don't, I think it's because I don't know how to use it is the most part of it. But the picture quality wasn't that great, but it was dark. And that microphone I got, what a piece of crap, eh? What'd you think of that? That whole video was cocked. I wasn't even gonna release it, but I figured, ah, you know what? You guys deserve something you do. Very right you do. All right, where were we? Down here. So what I'm gonna do is you feed it in like so, and you just wrap it all the way around like that. And we'll try to get the glue gun behind it maybe. See, the other one was right inside. Maybe you should put it inside. I don't know what to do. What should we do, Jim? I guess we could leave it out. This is, yeah, let's leave it out. We'll take a little pick tool and we'll get the back side of it. We'll do a little better job than the Chinese people did, we will. Maybe. You know what, maybe I should put that inside there because it's going to break. Yeah, let's leave it in there. So we'll put that there. Take a little stick and we'll give it a little, oh, fuck a little, I said. How are you doing? There we go. Perfect. That's great. Just like that, Jim. So there's the first one. So now that's done, we can kind of 
get the bag out of the damn way so you can see what's really going on. We'll run this around all the way like so. So now what we'll do is we'll take this glue gun, we'll push the LEDs on the outside of the rim shot. We'll give her a squirt. There we go. Good, next, good, next, good, next. Actually, let's hold it out for a minute. There we go, let her cool off. Perfect. So we'll just kind of stitch it all the way around. So the LEDs are on the outside of the doodad. Because when they're on the outside, they'll shine through better, right? That's what I think anyways. So we'll just take our time and we'll just do this this way. There we go. Next. Perfect. Shh, don't say anything. You gotta concentrate for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Wish there was a quicker way to cool down freaking hot glue gun. But there isn't. There we go. Perfect. Come on. There we go. It takes a few minutes for that glue gun to cool. Well, I'll be dipped. Good deal. This is working good, Captain. We'll let that one cool for a minute and we'll take a run around her. We'll fill her in a little bit here. Oh, I'm out of glue stick already. How you doing, glue sticky? Check that out, eh? Right on, Skippy. This glue stick doesn't work very good. She's a two-hander. You get the idea. Probably don't need to fill it all the way in, but why not? We're gonna let that heat back up again. That's a good high tech cool scuff for thick whatever. Now, I don't have to do this, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna smooth up the top edge. Just watch out you don't cut the wire off. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Carry on. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to cut this thing short, anyways. Pretty sure I can only cut it where these lines are. There we go. Look how much extra I got. So much more for activities. What exactly am I feeding through this thing? That's not even a glue stick. What is that? I'm gluing it with a straw, Jim. What the hell? Who would have thought? Sorry, Mel, I use one of your straws. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Friggin' straws work mint. Not really. We gotta get that out of there. Come on, baby. Pump her out. You can do it. She's not liking the, the straw. It like puts wedges in there though, that's pretty good. I wonder why that one was so much longer. So actually the straw worked really good for spacing it against the outside edge. Huh. We're gonna have to let that sit there and warm up, I guess. Let's check it, see how it works. I can't. Works pretty good. Ah. Come on, baby. I don't know what to tell you. Here, let's see if we can jump start it with three volts. In the hole, Captain. In the hole, Captain. Careful, it's cold out today. The heater's coming on a lot. Can't leave that thing running anymore. Ready? Okay, must be backwards. Spin around, Jim. Ready? Ready for nothing? That was good. Six. Oh, here we go. This will work, Captain. Okay, are you ready? No, are you ready? There, oh yeah, look at that, Jim. There you go. That's how you make your light up blue, Captain. Hey, that's not too bad. It's not super bright, but bright enough. Very low voltage. Turn on garage. Turn on the garage. I'm gonna have to edit that out because one thing I hate when I'm editing is when I tell Google to do stuff, when I'm editing, it turns everything on and off constantly. It drives me nuts. So there you go. Those are on. How are we doing on a glue stick? Oh, pretty good. We got her out. Ow! <laughs> Let's fill the hole, Captain. Something is not right. <sighs> what is going on with this piece of shit? Let's try the blue one. I found my blue one. Blue is probably better than pink. Let's see what happens. Now that we got to give that 20 minutes to freaking heat up. 
So how y'all been anyways? What have you guys been up to? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. While we're waiting for the heat gun to warm up. I got some of these bolts to hold the thing down. New bolts and nuts. So they'll be all right. We'll put them in now, which we'll replace these ones here. They're pretty much the same. They're a tad smaller maybe, but they're gonna work. So that's good. After we get this glued in, all we really got left to do is weld that friggin' nose cone on it, put the battery in, put the foam on, put the lid back on, and then we should be able to take it for a rip. I'm not really in a rush to finish this because I got all winter, if you know what I'm saying. I do want to get it together though, so I don't have all these parts kicking around here. Light should be coming on soon. It's starting to get dark out. Can't wait. I climbed my aerial today and put a star up at the top. I thought I was gonna die. I did wear a harness, but I'll show you. It's cold out here though, but I'll show you anyway. It's supposed to snow tonight, maybe. See, I put a star way up there on the antenna. I climbed that sucker and it held me. 260 pounds away on the top of the antenna. My neighbors probably thought I was fucking crazy. I'm like, what is he fucking doing now? How many goddamn lights does he need? What? What? Oh. I hate glue guns. Unless it's a big industrial motherfucker. I don't even know if that's a real glue gun in there. A glue stick. It looks like we've been forcing it in there. I don't know what's going on anymore. Do any of these fucking things work? Looks like it's hotter down at the bottom of the shaft where, instead of the tip. Here, let's help this thing. Where's my heat gun? Here, we got dual 1500 for off that socket now. Just slap the heat to her. It's not working. I'm melting the damn thing. What the hell? Well, we don't have much luck on the heat gun situation. Let's try a new tube. Yeah, that's working great. It's fucking hot on decks, too. It's smoking like crazy. What is going on here? Holy. I'm just suffering a long, hard death here right now. What happens if I stick a hole in it? Oh, look at the whole thing's friggin' just looser and gooseys. There must be something stuck in there. Can we feed that in there? No. Oh, look at the tip. It's all loose. Let's get a drill bit and drill the fricker. Go. There you go. We have blockage. Now we have cockage. I have a real bad feeling about this heat gun. She's not feeling too good. What in the F? How far in can I drill before I get electrocuted? I think we're gonna have to call her a day on this heat, on this, uh, on this lumen thing. We're gonna have to get some clear silicone or something to finish this off. This is the way it's been going lately for me. Every time I wanna finish something, something else doesn't work. It's not a bad thing either. It's just, that's the way it is. So, we'll be back. I'm gonna clear silicone this with some silicone when I get some. Get it sealed up. And then I'll come back when we're gonna assemble the deck and stuff like that so you can see what happens there. What do you think of that? I think it's a pretty good idea. Hopefully I got something here for you, which I probably do. And hopefully everybody's having a good weekend like I am. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.